All right, hello everybody, and again, we are exploring deeper and further into this game. As you know, we achieved our primary goal in the Cave of Death, which luckily did not hold any death for us. Gosh darn, I don't want to fight that sea monster. I don't want to fight those... Gosh, I don't want to fight those pirates either. But it looks like I might have to do one or the other. Luckily, I didn't have to do either. Okay, very cool. Uh, and that indecisiveness might cost me a battle, actually. No, thankfully it shall not. Okay, so anyway, we got the silver pick, which is very useful. So there's an island near the town of Fawn, which this is a very small world, so actually... Uh, so it's on one of these islands. I don't remember which one. Uh, so let's just give it a shot. Alright, where's the silver pick? Nothing found. And this works exactly the same way as with the silver armor in that we... can get four of the Mystic Sword. Alright, give Zuli... Weapons, mystic weapon to mom. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the game ever quite tells you exactly where this sword is located. Uh, but the game is so poor in locations. I mean, there's just not a lot going on here. Okay, she, well, no, let's have her give. I don't know if they'll let you carry personally more than one mystic sword. Okay, but that's fine. Uh, Zuli dig for another one. Good. It's kind of funny that the tool is the thing that actually allows you to find it. But I guess they wanted to make it, uh, yeah, a little challenging, I suppose. Um, so, it's fine. With me, anyway. I mean, it's gonna have to be fine, because that's the way it is. Alright. And like I said, I, I prefer much to use the continue to use the silver bow until such time. And by such time, I mean at the time we get to Castle Exodus, where we can no longer use that. Now, it might be good to actually have a number of daggers. I'm not going to do that. But we could buy just a crap ton of daggers. And then after we use rot, just like chuck daggers at people all day long. All day, every day. Alright. So I up-leveled uh, up everyone, which is pretty stupid way to express that and the next place we're gonna go is the cave of soul which is known as the dungeon of snake in the um uh the former version the computer version they actually changed some of these names here i don't know why they're not particularly objectionable names uh, maybe they just thought it sound better soul you know i'm not sure sol like like sun in spanish i mean it's a cool sounding word so I'm just going to circumnavigate the world a little bit. It's northeast of Montour. Basically, it's on this little island all by itself. Uh, there is a town, uh, which is Devil Guard or Demon Gulch. I can't remember. I always get them mixed up. That's not the wrong. That's not the right island. That is exactly the wrong island. Oh, and I looked at a map just to see if there was actually a nice treasure uh, spot that we could get ourselves into. Uh, in order to, uh, you know, that line of question marks. Actually, that was all gremlins who would steal your food. So I would imagine if you walk through all of them, you would starve and die. So, you know, good on us for not uh, continuing. All right, let's go ahead and use a gem and see what we're working with here. No sense just dorking around. All right. So here we are, Cave of Soul. Aha, I remember this place intimately, in the most intimate of ways, because there's a bunch of treasure here. Um, that's, this can be one of the ways you can go ahead and try to make a lot of money. Um, you'll see in the lower left corner, in the upper right corner, and the lower right corner, those are all like treasure rooms. Um, those question marks at the lower right, the two in the way, they're both gremlins, so probably don't want to do that one. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I am actually going to grab some of this treasure just to kind of make it easy. Cave of Soul. So that question mark is actually like basically a signpost, which is pretty cool, whatever. And then we'll go southward here. So I have this pretty well memorized since when I played this game a few months ago, this was one of the ways I was getting a lot of money uh, together because I was not yet strong enough, strong enough to get the preferred way of getting money together. Eventually I would graduate to that preferred way. But this is a great place to just go in here and loot uh, constantly, repeatedly, in order to get your hands on a whole bunch of moolah. And uh, I'm very thankful for the opportunity uh, that this affords. I mean, games like this can be very tricky because the world, the world is so expensive. 
Or at least it can be. I mean, if you're play like a regular uh, game player, you know, uh, for an RPG, you're thinking that, hey, buddy, I have to like definitely. All right, so we'll have her use. No, she doesn't have. Yeah, she doesn't. Oh, she's got surface. I didn't have to use ascend a million times. I could have just used surface. Oh well, the, I don't want to fight these boneheads, but I think I got to. Got to. I think I have to. Sorry. I try to use good English. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I'll just use Rod. I shouldn't because these guys are so easy, but maybe by the time I get another serious combat, hopefully I'll be refilled. And then I'll just have these guys fire off a couple missile shots. Yeah, look at their health isn't even that high for Pete's sake. And here I am hitting them with like super expensive uh, magic spells. I think I will just walk up to him and whack him with my mystic uh, weapon though. Now that I have a pretty good weapon. I don't know if it'll be accurate though because I have not increased anybody's dexterity at this point uh, other than uh, mom. But we'll see. Okay. I mean, we only have to do one damage, but we do have to hit them, you know. I mean, that's kind of inconsequential how much damage has to be done because we actually have to hit them. Which, as you saw early in the game, our accuracy is just really not there. Oh, well, I messed that up. And that's that's one of those times, um, as I mentioned earlier, that, uh, you know, you can't undo your boo-boos. So if you make a boo-boo, uh, you don't get to continue. You don't get to, like, cancel out. You just miss your turn, which is rather lame. It's more than rather lame. It's completely lame. And now i got to remember where the heck I was going. Oh, yeah, now I, I remember where I was going. Alright, so that's good, and we got treasure out of it, so we could be very happy with ourselves. Alright, north, the exit is... Ah, well, again? Holy crap, a moly! Well, I am definitely not going to use anything. Alright, I'm just going to cut this one, I'll be back in a second. Alright, we continue on further and further uh, through this dungeon. And I've suddenly lost my appetite after those two rapid-fire battles to worry about getting a... Uh, more treasure. Maybe I'll get on the way out. But you guys don't want to see that crap. And I don't want to show you that crap. Um, grinding is something I uh, like to... I, I think grinding is a personal thing that should not be put out to the world. Okay. So these question marks, I don't care about any of them. I just want to go downstairs. So I'll turn north. Go north. Yeah, you can see how easily you would get lost in here, especially since you can't really see from a distance uh, too well. All right, go ahead. Yeah, there aren't a lot of dead ends on this one. Like, if you go down, you're pretty much going down, and you're you're pretty good. Like, whereas in Ultima 4, like, if you go down the wrong staircase there, then you, uh, you don't really continue. you got to find the right one. So it's a little bit more complex. This one's pretty easy. Use a gem. You can memorize the route pretty easily, as I've shown you, except when I dork it up. So it's probably a trap of some kind. I don't care. So we'll go south and west. South, south, west. Oh, no trap. Okay, good. I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna face a trap. Oh, good. I did uh, face a trap. So I'm not going crazy and bad on poison. Okay, very good. Wait, did I just take a wrong turn of some sort? I probably did. This is why I buy a lot of these gems because. Oh, jeez, Louise! Look at that. Can you believe that? And in case you can't tell, it's a down staircase sign. Um, there's a, a slight difference, not much of a difference, but uh, you could tell uh, where the where the ladder's going. Anyway, but yeah, uh, four made it a lot more complex to find your way around. Interestingly enough, I find I found five very straightforward. I found five very straightforward, even though it's a later game. A later game would mean you know, hey, this later game is obviously going to be far more difficult for you. I wonder. I'm going to check out the middle. No, do I really want to check out the middle section? I mean, who cares? Well, I do. I'm going to check out these middle sections. No, you know what? I'm... All right, I'm going to check out the center room. I'm not going to check out the other compartments. I am going to go downstairs in one of the four, probably the upper right, because that just seems more the easiest to me. All right. So go around this right here. Ah, cool. I mean, it's not really that useful. It's 33 bucks, but it's something. Uh, I mean, it's random. It's not like it's, it would be... Oh, for Pete's sake. No, that's fine, though. That's fine, and that's dandy. Because I've got 
I've got a little surprise for you, turds, in that I'm gonna rot your brains. So it's good. I'm very happy about my ability to rot their brains. And now everybody's got one hit point, and uh, they're probably gonna hit us a bunch of times, and that's okay. Their damage output is not particularly high. Their ability to just stand there and deal damage on us, though, is worrying, of course. Mm. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but we've been poisoned. So their attacks are often poisonous. The game doesn't tell you. This. Whoa, whoa! Oh, I dorked up there. The game does not tell you this, uh, but their attacks do have the side effect of poisoning you. Now, it tells us this in that there's a P there, but the game doesn't say, oh, who's his butt has been poisoned? Who, buddy, has been poisoned? It doesn't say that. Which is rather unfortunate because that's that's just common courtesy, you know. Okay, so these guys, I hate fighting them. They make they make they make life nice and miserable for us. Um, all right. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, unfortunately, her dexterity is not jazzed, so without dexterity, um, her ability to actually hit anybody with her mighty swings of her sword, although in that last battle, she did like 57 damage, which was very good. I was very happy with that. All right, so uh, we're going to continue on to the four corners after this battle. How good he moved. I mean, there's really no reason for them to move. Uh, so it's really, it's just more of a mercy of the game. All right, that sucks. All right, I gotta like do -si do a little bit. Uh, because poor Jameso is uh, getting sapped by sickness right now. I can't remember if there's negative, I think there are negative springs. I'm pretty sure there are. But luckily they're usually closely co-located. Oh wait, we've got enough now, what am I doing? Uh, they're usually closely located with uh, uh, cure sp curative springs. So the game, the game uh, doesn't try to uh, destroy your brains too much. You know, it, it it tries to temper. It's not Nintendo hard, probably because it's not originally a Nintendo game. But even Nintendo hard. I mean, RPGs were not. I'm mean, certainly the the games were, would be considered like uh, Final Fantasy would be considered hostile. Uh, to the average gamer. Okay, let me go ahead and let, use this again. Uh, back then, the average child gamer, as I was. Uh, but certainly not undoable. Uh, the only thing it really had a problem with was, you know, just dam or not damage control, uh, difficulty spikes that were, you know, ridiculous. You know, they would just ramp it up. But after the Swamp Cave, everything kind of got a lot easier. And after you get all those items, you can use those items. As you see when I played with my boys, if you ever watched them play Final Fantasy, they're just, it's just like a hot knife through butter after a certain point. I mean, you've got all those heal uh, items that don't cost you anything. And you've got uh, all like the Zeus uh, gauntlet and such. It just becomes easy. Okay, so now all we have to do is move towards the center of the room. Okay. Ow, poison, that's rather rude of them to do to poison us. Uh, but that's okay, we're just gonna walk around a square like morons here. Now see, if we had jazzed up Mom's magic, no, she wouldn't be able to use Cure, because I think Cure is a, I think it's 40 magic points, let me see. No, it's less than that, okay, fine. So anyway, must continue southward. I think this is, no, I don't think that's center. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna use another one. I know that's sad, huh? That I, I just like... I think it's because I got in a fight there. Or I got in... I, I had to do that thing where I ran around a circle like a moron. I was pretty close, though. I was very close. Okay, good. So head southward. Don't drink. And drive. So yeah, that's the name of this floor. Don't drink. So you see this goes pretty swimmingly. It goes pretty quickly. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the gem uh, of this floor. Okay, gem. Gem it up. Gemini. Alright, once again, we've got to go to the four corners. Uh, Alright.
right, this should be pretty easy though, as you can see right there. We just hook around to the north, find a secret door, and go. I'm gonna go to the upper left one now. So go straight up, don't drink, and drive. Good advice. You know, I didn't say that. I'm sure that's what they meant. Uh, this has always been a very socially uh, responsible game about drinking and driving. Ultima, you see, um, if I drank at the pub and then I tried to get on uh, my horses, the game would not let me. And I made that up because that's not actually true. Oh, uh, what else? Yeah, I, I heard that if you go to the the pub and you drink a bunch there, that your 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 distance shots will get all curvy. But my friend might have made that up because I was young and gullible and believed him. So, all right. Now that center might be the best place to go, or it might not. But there's no way in there, so there's no sense worrying about it. So we've got a bunch of down ways. So let's just go up and to the left. Gremlins. Uh, they took our food or not? It looked like I didn't. It looked like I took our food. Gosh darn it! Well, they got us once, but it could be worse. You know, it could be a lot worse. Now here we are, floor eight. Is this the one? Are we in the right place? Ah, gosh darn it! Uh, Zuli, show us the gem. All right. Where is the mark of the snake? And is the union of the snake truly on the rise? We don't know. Okay, so it could be up left. It's at the it's at the end of one of these corridors. So let's just go exploring, right? Windy gold. Ah, uh, we're gonna get the wind that blows out our torch. Uh, I guess. I mean, if you can draw a different meaning from that, please go ahead. Ah. Okay, let's use the torch now that we're out of the windiness. Uh, all that is gold, so it really wasn't worth it to blow another torch. That's fine. I don't care. I'm, I'm not sad. And I think even if you use magic, it doesn't matter because it still blows it out, which... Uh, <laughs> gosh darn it. Alright, I think we're in the right place we want to be. Maybe. Ah, I didn't want gold. I want I want my I want my union of the snake mark, you know, it's on the rise, that's what I heard. You know, and the Ah, just one of you dorks, that's not even worth uh, cutting uh, cutting the tape for. Okay, so in any case, we're looking real we're looking real good right now. Cause we're in this uh, this cave here. Uh, we're at the final floor already. You can see, like I said, there's not a lot of uh, like differentiating between you went the wrong wrong staircase like almost any way down is a good way down now there are actually marks that aren't on the final floor uh, but they're they're kind of rare almost anything that's worth anything to you is on this floor uh, so anyway we'll go through here probably get some more wind we'll turn left yes we will turn left and then hook up there okay turn left which is to the uh, west uh, is the west no we want to go east Dumbo. Aha! Mark of fire. No. No. And of course, we get the sultry wind. Gosh darn it. Nah. Eh. Alright, I'll be back with you in a second. Alright, folks. Here we go. And a little bit more gold here. Now, let me take a look at our map again. Because battles are very disorienting, especially when you're a moron like I am. Uh, more wind. No, oh, good. Not more wind. More treasure. I can use that. Windy gold. But our torch is about to get blown out. Yep. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. But I kind of know where I'm going. Kind of. Alright. I shouldn't be so sparing with my torches. It's not like they cost a lot of money. Aha. There we go. Now let me check my map again. Because I mean, we can afford to blow a few more gems. We're in the last floor here. Okay. Take a look. So, I don't know where the snake thing is. There's a good chance it's down to the south here. So I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna head straight to the west and then to the south. All right. All right. Okay. 
Let's see. Ah, yeah. This 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 obviously gets real old real fast. Uh, but there's nothing we can do about it. We've got to sit there and and uh, take the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. I just hope that this is the one. No, it's not. It's just more treasure. And unfortunately, I think the sultry wind will go again. That's fine. All right, let's take a look at uh, where we're at now. Because I we'll probably missed something else in this section. Okay, so I'm just going to try to go through the whole thing here. And just uh, keep heading in the directions of east and south. And that should actually take us where we want to go. Now luckily, it's not like Shadowgate where if it's... Make sure you turn that down. So it's not like if you uh, have the light out, you, you fall and die. Uh, so we can actually just continue on our merry way. These guys are highly not worth worrying about, and I'm definitely not going to waste any magic on them right now. Oh, all right. So let's just see if Zuli can score a hit here. 62 damage, not too bad. It just shows you what that uh, mystic weapon can do, despite the fact that you don't have any kind of decent stats. All right, we will continue our south and east trajectory. Luckily, you stop hearing noises when you get so far. Okay, I just don't want to... I'm just that cheap, okay? Let's just say that. All right, let's use another gem. Even though it's going to cost me another gem. Okay, yes, now we go west, okay? And I know some of those are actually... Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Two of those. Which is fine, I don't give a crap. Doesn't matter to me. Aha, the mark of the snake! The union of the snake is on the rise, baby! So there we go. <coughs> oh, cool, there's treasure right there. Can I have it? Thank you. Alright. Luckily, we don't need to use a torch for that. And that's it. So anyway, we've got all the marks now, other than the mark of force. So I guess we don't have all the marks. And what I told you was a complete lie. But in the next video, we're going to take care of that issue. And I'll even go see the Time Lord. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.